two blocks south of the Water Street District with the newest restaurants and shops, and I'm at 616 South Webster Street. This is a beautiful four bedroom, three and a half bath custom residence. It has some unbelievable custom features I'm gonna show you today. And it was built in 2008 by Bill Schillerstrom. He is a renowned, um, highly reputable paper bill builder. And uh, I think you're really gonna enjoy this special home. Come on in. This home has everything you would want in a custom home in Naperville. I'm gonna take you straight back to the heart of the home and then we're gonna spend some time going through the formal rooms. But you see we open up into a grand staircase, coming back to a really spectacular kitchen. One thing we want in today's living is a wide open kitchen that is both functional and lives for our daily living. We have a beautiful suite of high-end stainless steel appliances in our five burner Miele cooktop. You'll notice in the work triangle that we have the kitchen sink, we have Fisher and Faithful dishwasher drawers. These are energy efficient because you can run top or bottom or both. And at the other corner of the work triangle, we have this beautiful professional Viking refrigerator, built-in microwave and Viking dual ovens. If we turn back, what is very unique about this home and really hard to find is the double island. This serves as your work island for food prep, and this is more of your entertaining island with this beautiful beverage bar. And you have just loads of storage in the kitchen. Even the back side of this island has cabinet throughout. These are really highly upgraded custom furniture quality cabinets. On the other side of this island, there is seating for four. So imagine that your family is living in here. You have ample space for all the cooks in the kitchen and your family to be eating in the kitchen. And then we have this beautiful, light, bright, eerie breakfast room. At the back of the house, we have over 10 windows that feature the backyard. And truly one of the most exceptional features about this downtown property is the 198 foot deep lot. And it is so rare that you have a usable backyard in Naperville. This one is exceptional. We're gonna be taking a look at that because it has beautiful hardscape that is a really upgraded feature. And uh, it even has two garages in this property. We're gonna, in a minute, take a look at the really usable position of the attached two car garage. And at the end of the tour, when we're looking at the backyard, we will see the second garage detached for two cars. So you have parking for four car garage. You won't find another downtown Naperville property at a price point of under a million dollars. This is currently priced at 950. We have this beautiful fireplace. Uh, it is a gas start. And you see the size of this open, bright family room. I'm gonna take you back through, as I promised, formal spaces of the home. Off of the kitchen, what do we need? We need more storage. So this home features not only a butler pantry for your china and fine dishware, but also a walk-in pantry for all of uh, the back storage you could want. And it is beautifully designed into a spacious dining room that accommodates a large family gathering Note on the ceiling, we have really pretty architectural details with this um, oval, really nice upgraded features. And finally, we go back to the front of the house, um, into the formal living room. And this is, could also be a perfect music room. And uh, notice the light that we have is really exceptional in this home. We're coming back to our center entry. And now we're going to the uh, powder room, and this is also the location of the access to the attached two-car garage. Notice we have a great mud room, and we have a beautiful clean detach uh, attached garage for two cars with an epoxy floor. How amazing is that to have a garage that is super clean and move-in ready? In our mud room, you'll notice that we have washer and dryer 
but one of the bonus features of this home is that it also has a large second story laundry. So no matter what your preference is, or if you have a huge family, you have two washers and dryers, first floor laundry, and second floor. And finally, to finish out our tour on the first floor, you have a beautiful executive study. Panel dark wood, coffered ceilings. It's really ample size. It features French doors, so you can close it for privacy when needed. And that completes our tour of the first floor. Now, what you're probably wondering is what is the master suite like? In this home, it's every bit what you would hope it would be. It is spacious, it's bright, it's private. I love the location of it being at the top of the stairs. If you have kids or uh, family and company staying, you can get access right down to your office first thing in the morning or the kitchen or out the door and not wake up the rest of the family. As we come in, this overlooks the back of the house. So it's very serene and you have a beautiful private view of your exceptional yard. Note how spacious this is. You can get a king bed. There's air, a ample space for a sitting area. And as we come back, you will also notice that we have his and her closet. A full walk-in closet for him. And a full walk-in closet for her. And notice the custom organization and storage. Feel free, any viewers, if you have any questions and want a closer look at anything. And then we come into the spa bathroom. It features a neutral, bright porcelain floor. You have expansive vanities with just loads of storage. You have a cosmetic area, a beautiful soaking spa tub. This is so bright and airy. And a 56 inch oversized shower with dual head and of course private commode. The rest of the upstairs features three bedrooms. It's a Jack and Jill bedroom with a bathroom shared between them and the third bedroom is an ensuite. First we'll pause and look at this second story laundry room. You have the furniture grade built in cabinetry, tons of counter space, folding space that we all need with laundry, and even a utility sink and an additional closet. Bedroom two is the first of a Jack and Jill. It overlooks the backyard. This is an interesting wall. It's barn wood. If it's not to your taste, it could be painted and it would look like um, shiplap. Really a neat feature. The Jack and Jill bedrooms do have full walk-in closets with organizers, a really spacious double vanity, and then private commode and shower with a door so that it's shared for privacy and high function. We're into the second uh, Jack and Jill bedroom. It also features the same size walk-in closet and it's the same dimension as well. Notice the fresh neutral paint throughout this home. It is truly move in ready and absolutely pristinely maintained. We have a wide double um, linen closet. And this, the fourth bedroom note, it has the high tray ceiling. Again, a walk-in closet and an ensuite bath. Beautifully maintained, perfect for um, a, to function as a guest suite. And as we move down, uh, this home features over 4,000 square feet of living space between the first and second floors. As we move downstairs, we will take a look at the basement. It's unfinished, but completely ready for you to add almost 2,000 square feet of additional living space. It has nine foot ceilings and it is plumbed for a bathroom. And as we come down, you'll see that the entrance is 
right off the kitchen. So it lifts perfectly for the family. And this is what I wanted to show you, that you have this deep pour. It will give you a nine and a half foot finished ceiling. This is what we all look for in a downtown residence, to have this extra added living space. It is wide open. It has the daylight egress windows on the far wall. You could really add value to your home. So finally, I'd like to finish off with one of the highlights of this home, and that is truly the backyard and the hardscape. Hey, Kristen, after we finish the backyard, we have some viewers that came in late, so we should probably go back through the first floor. So notice the French door off of the kitchen. It's exactly what you want for family. You can keep an eye in the backyard, the kids. And in these times of staying at home, could you imagine your summer in this yard? You have a beautiful paper patio, fully landscaped. What an unbelievable upgraded feature to have a fireplace like this. We have beautiful, majestic, mature trees. Just a dreamy path out in this backyard. The playset stays with the home if you have little ones. And again, one of the neatest features of this home is that it was designed with a second garage. This is beautiful space off of the alleyway. You could use it as a workshop. You could use it to store four cars and it has additional walk-up space to the attic. Okay, who wouldn't want to be spending their summers out here? It's ready to go. At a price of $950,000 for 4,000 square feet of living space. That is, uh, equates to about $237 a square foot. If you're looking at building new construction, you're going to be looking at uh, closer to 300 a square foot.